So, yeah, just woke up. It's, uh, I was supposed to get up at half six, but I've ended up sneezing, and it's now seven. Sausages are on, malt loaf. I don't have any butter and I don't have any way of slicing it, so I just eat it like a savage and just just, just chew the loaf. It's a bit of blasphemy, I know. Um, I wouldn't do it in any other circumstance than being up a mountain. So yeah, I'm excited to get some grub in me. We're gonna need it if we're gonna do some of these big mountains. So, sausages are looking done to me. Get them in a wrap. It's not the most uh, creative food, I'll be honest with you, but it does the job. That's what we're having. So simple, but it tastes so good. It's just a wrap and a sausage, but Jesus Christ, you appreciate so much, everything so much when you're camping. I've never had um, peppery Cumberland sausage before, and I rate them a lot. I'll show you this little pocket rocket. So, as I say, it's MSR, which uh, it's got a good good name as MSR. Uh, they bring out some really good gear. Um, but yeah, these all fold down like this. This bit just tucks underneath. So it ends up being that, which in relation to your hand, it's, it's quite small. It goes into here, like that. So what, what ends up happening is when you're at the top of a mountain, it's really windy. Whichever direction the wind, uh, with a normal one that doesn't have this windshield, because this is quite expensive for what it is. There's some cheaper, cheaper versions, but for what because of this one thing um i bought this one and it's this windshield and if the wind comes it just wipes your flame straight out which can be really frustrating and be a big problem but what ends up happening here is the wind doesn't come from all directions it only comes from one way so it will only ever blow out one of the three thirds um so you'll always have two of the three burning so you can still cook your food in windy conditions which is ideal if you're going to end up here in places like this. Now, don't get me wrong, it is still up here, but uh, the majority of the time when you get to the top of a mountain, it's it's windy. So you do need to uh, make sure you can cook your food. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I would recommend getting one if you're thinking of sort of going camping anywhere and want a, a sort of compact, lightweight um, stove and way of cooking your food. I would say that this is probably one of the sort of the best ways. So. Uh, a good way to clean your pan is put a bit of water in before the fat starts to settle and just get some grass and you can literally just clean it out with the grass. Uh, I'll try and show you now with a bit hard with one hand maybe, but... And then it has all the grass in there, but as soon as it sort of dries off, you can just wipe all the grass off and it's uh, it's as good as new. It's as clean as it gets. Uh, I'm happy with it. So we're all packed away. Um, so this is sort of the start of day two. That there, it is Snowden. Uh, I'm actually camping up here with another guy. Uh, I, will, I will camped here and just over the brow over there, um, there's another guy camping, so I've ended up speaking this morning. He's pointing me in the right direction um, to, to climbing it. I'm just gonna sort of 
drive round the, round these sets of mountains here, and there's going to be some laybys just round there, and there should be free, and I should be able to sort of pack up there, and he showed me uh, sort of the trail that I should head up. Whether I can find it or not is a different thing, but it was nice uh, to, to speak to him. So we've just parked up the up the car. Uh, we found a lay-by which uh, should be fine for the night. Um, just behind me there is uh, Snowden. Uh, I say that, you can't see it. The tip of it is just there. You can hardly see it just over that brow. Um, but I actually know where I am. Uh, I've been to Wales once before, and I ended up camping. We did this mountain just behind here. Uh, we did that. It's called Mel Shabbard. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, but we camped and uh, it was in between two lakes. It was a beautiful little uh, spot to camp. So what I'm thinking is, do Snowden today. I've got enough time to do it. It's bloody lovely weather. And then when I come back tomorrow, maybe go over to that same spot and uh, camp, camp where I did last time, because uh, I know it's safe and it's a, it was a perfect spot. Uh, so yeah, good. There's a fire engine. Mad. You see, you see those horses? I don't know if those were a uh, wild horse or not, but they seem to be, it's a bit strange seeing them up the mountain, but there is a uh, sort of a, a farm at the bottom. So it could have been, been something to do with that, but could have been wild horses. I don't think I've ever seen those before. And that helicopter, I just seen it uh, carrying something. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to pull over and record this because I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was a person or something, but as it got closer, I didn't. I just pulled in there. I could see it from far away. And it just ended up dropping right right where I was parked. So I oh, yeah, got a nice shot. <laughs> so yeah, it's, uh, I'm gonna get the bag on. I'm gonna put my food in my bag that I need and we're gonna head towards Snowdon. It's going to be quite a challenging day. Um, I needed to get in that water this morning just to just to set the day straight, get the head screwed on, get prepared. Uh, and not only that, it's absolutely boiling. So it's nice uh, when you're sweating like hell, uh, just jumping in that cold water. Hello. So I'm just walking towards Snowden, I'm not long parked up, I've just seen this little building. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Cool. So we're at the bottom. We've literally just started for maybe 10 minutes. Um, I spoke to the, the sort of there's an information dude there, a little guide, and he's putting me on the right track. Um, I'm going up the miners track, which is supposed to be one of the easier ones. Uh, he says there's no point trying the other ones if you don't have any of the proper gear. Some of it you may need to, to climb in. With all my camping stuff on my back, it's a little bit 
difficult to do stuff like that. So one day I will, but we'll take the easier one up for now. So I'll see you at the top. That's a little push. <laughs> so, we made it to the top. Look at them views. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but you have to queue to get a photo at the top. So that's how busy it is up here. It's not it's not really for me. Um, I knew it would be busy. I thought going through midweek it might sort of make, be, might be a little bit quieter, but it's uh, it's still busy. Um, yeah, I have to queue of course and get a nice little picture. Now the challenge is just finding somewhere to camp for the night. I'm thinking of heading down to those lakes um, and getting pitched up around there. Um, I still think it'll be a little bit busy. But um, hopefully if I set up late enough and get up off early enough, then um, just, you know I don't get bothered. So on my way down, I just spotted this little cave. I don't know how far it goes in. But we are definitely going in there. Here it goes. Then. Okay, let's try the other way. Oh, there we go, ground. This is so cool. I don't know how far it goes. I'm not going to be able to go forever. My bag, I've left it outside because I thought it'd be a bit much to bring in here. And there is a lot of people there. Not that I think they'll make it, but. Thank God that didn't go for a path because I've had to check. <laughs> oh, it looks like this is the end. Oh, some little prints on the wall, which is kind of interesting. I mean, it's interesting, but I was hoping it opened up and I could uh, see some stuff, more prints. Yeah, hoping it opened up and I could see all sorts, but me and my friend, we were in the Lake District just just last week and we took his own way down this mountain. Uh, it's called the Old Man of Coniston and as I say, we went his own way down and uh, we just ended up uh, bumping into this cave so we were like right <laughs> we gotta go in we went in and it was well, it was stunning inside it had all uh old mine carts and stuff lots of equipment down there uh, alt trucks and stuff like that um and it was it were it opened right up so you could you could sort of have a have a good look uh, and this torch is pretty good so uh, without it you'd be a little bit screwed it'd be a lot more oh it's a bit Waggy there. Ah, this is a challenging bit. Well, that was cool. That's where we are. Look how many people there are. It's madness. So, yeah, that's that. Wish it were a little bit better, but it's still fucking cool. So I think I'm gonna, it's still busy around here, but I think I'm just gonna tuck around the side. It looked like there was some flat ground. So maybe get camp there for the night. It's out of the way a little bit, but I think just no matter where I go, it's gonna be uh, flooded with people. So 
This is the spot. It's a sweet little spot right next to this lake. I'm gonna just pitch up on this bit of grass here. You can see here, someone's had a fire already. I don't know how the hell they've had a fire. I can't see any wood around me. So I don't know how they've done that. But yeah, I'm gonna work up next to this beautiful view. That behind me there, that is literally Snowdon, like halfway up. Um, the path is uh, up there. Oh, it's hard to tell, that way, up there. Um, that's where people are walking, so I mean, they can see me tucked down over here, but it's just gonna have to do. I just don't think there's anywhere else that I'll find. It's out at Wake Wind as well, so it's literally a perfect little spot. And as I say, someone's got a little seating arrangement, which is kind of cute. Looks like it's gonna rain, which is brilliant. Um, but hopefully it doesn't. It's been such a weird day. I'm sunburnt, it's been really warm, and on the way down it just got cloudy, and now it looks like it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna try and get set up quite quickly, and hope if I need to get in my tent, I can do. So it's been a sick day, um, I'm really uh, happy that I've done Snowdon. I uh, came last time and we decided not to do it because it were in uh, the holidays and it was on a weekend so uh, I'm glad we did leave it <laughs> because this was through the week, uh, not in holidays and it was still packed. So it's one of them things that because it's so popular, um, yeah it's just so busy. But. For, yeah, for a moment today, we were the highest person in Wales and England, which is kind of cool to say. Um, so yeah, I've just set up camp. Um, it's like it's still quite early. It's like five o'clock, but I think that there's been enough uh, video today. Uh, there was more today than yesterday. Today's video, I think that we're about around ten minutes. So I don't want to overload with oh, sort of three hours worth of footage. Um, I'd rather just equal it out nicely over a few days. So I think that I've done absolutely, I've done loads today, so it should be uh, enough for a video. Um, I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. I'm going to get some uh, some food down me. Uh, I'm going to just do some reading, some yoga, stretch all my muscles off. I'm not going to go in the water again today. I went in this morning, so I might save that for tomorrow. Um, and yeah, just meditate as well. That's the other thing that I wanted to do. Um, I just, after I set up camp, I thought it was going to rain because it was spitting. Um, and it, yeah, you could, you could see all ripples in water. But, um, so I set up quite quickly and what I'm going to say, I just, yeah, I just, uh, laid down for what I thought were going to be five minutes. <laughs> Ended up having a little nap. It gets, uh, it catches up on you after doing all these miles uh, with a bag on. It's not so bad without a bag, but as soon as you have 20 kilos on your back, it makes it uh, a lot more challenging. So I ended up laying down here, uh, just perched my feet on a rock, laid back, and I ended up having a little nap. Um, so I feel really good now. Um, but it seemed a lot later than it actually were. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap that up. I uh, don't think there's anything else. For me to do today so i will see you guys tomorrow peace